This episode is in association with Tracks for Africa, Tackler Products, Lacey, Indieflate, and my Patreons. In episode two of this amazing adventure, we would head a few kilometers down the Kwai River to the Mohoto campsite. Kwai is one of the most amazing areas in Africa, so we wanted to maximize our time here and then head to a place we've never been to before, Linyanti. Right, good morning and welcome to another exciting episode and uh, what better way to start an episode than on a tributary to the Kwai River. We are at the Mbudi community campsite in the Kwai region in the Okavango Delta, Botswana and uh, just doesn't get any better. The bird life in this campsite is incredible and uh, yeah the animals passing through the camp also amazing I wouldn't say it's as good as SKL Kwai but still amazing and a privilege to be here but today we're leaving and we are heading to Mohoto Bacon and eggs, making some toast for us here. We head to the main reception area at the Mbudi campsite. We will find the ablution block. The ablutions are good, with flushing toilets and showers. They can battle a little when the campsite is crowded, but otherwise there really isn't any reason to complain. You can also purchase firewood and book your Mokora trips at reception. All refreshed and ready to hit the main transit road between Moremi and Chobi. This main Kalkri transit road separates Moremi and Chobi. It's also the route that takes us to Mohoto. The bush is extremely dry for this time of year, which is good news for us because the Mohoto campsite is right on the Kwai River, where most of the wildlife will congregate. 
It's been four years since I've been to Mohoto and we are excited as its signature dead acacia trees welcome us. Setting up at Campsite 4 under enormous acacia trees. What a privilege. This campsite is spectacular, but very wild, and it gets very dark, so be sure to have some powerful camping lights. However, please consider your neighbor and point these lights away from them. Time to start the fire and enjoy. And this is the exact reason why you need good camping lights. How special is this? We're sitting down here having dinner, like literally staring at our plates. And Ed saw this shadow and was like, leopard. I couldn't believe the fact that there's leopard in here. Shone the torch, truce Bob, it was actually leopard. Ed takes the camera, I take the torches, we put light on. Ed gets the footage, insane. And then 
we lost her. Turning around trying to find her, she started to stalk us. I mean, it was like absolutely ridiculous. Suddenly, you realize your mortality at that point in time. You start backing away very slowly. She realized who, what we were, kept the torch on her, tried to pick up a bigger camera, and she disappeared into the bush. Ed then found her at the tree line again, and we can hear the impalas going off. Tonight, something's getting taken out. I tell you guys first time ever I've woken up in the morning and seen leopard spoor but we were just about to dip into dinner and just behind the 200 series there literally right behind the tire this female leopard came out into the light right here in camp and she went across the road chilled there for a little bit. Jono and I were in quite a lot of shock. But how cool is that? It... So, the leopard was the start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Behind the 200, sorry, I'm a bit shocked. Then we've seen some honey badgers. After the leopard thing, we heard a male lion. I think he's in the road behind the campsite. He's close. The elephants are going absolutely mad. Um, the hyena is going off and he'll probably pull through but then we had the honey badgers and if you have a look over here we put the chairs next to the fortuna in the hope that um, nothing would come for us Mokoto, this is a wild insane place and tonight is crazy we're on the lookout for everything and anything the leopard is the one that scares me the most though because she's moving around here we've heard from everyone that she moves around here but it's very scary but we're loving it absolutely loving it but be careful be careful at Mokoto After an exciting evening, it was time to catch up on some work at the stunning Mohoto campsite number four. Yeah, good in you. You sleep okay? Yeah, brilliant. Eh? Lions were going off. Yeah, I'll tell you what, eh? I thought I was going to be awake the whole night with after all that excitement, but once my head hit the pillow, that was it. Game over. Unfortunately, we had such... I mean, we've had huge action and we're taking a lot of footage. On my one card, I've got 150 gigs and that's just on my um, R5. On my R6, is a whole bunch of footage. Uh, I actually don't know how we're going to work through all of this. I mean, we've been really blessed. It's a good problem to have. Okay. What are you downloading onto there? Um, so this is a Lacey. Um, that's really a rugged drive. Um, I use it at work. I use it here. This is really my office station at work. It's insane to think this bag was in Leo uh, at the beginning of June. And then it's been to Namibia. Then it's been back here. And now it's sitting in the middle of Mokoto. Um, these uh, luxuries have made it really easy for us to download things and uh, makes our office mobile. And is it Mohoto or Mohotlo? Mohotlo lo lo lo. The choice of game drives around Mohoto is truly remarkable. 
You can head back towards Northgate or into Chobe National Park on the transit road. You can also head towards Savuti through the Mababi Gate or do what we do and head east or west along the Kwai River, which is our choice for this morning. Your average speed on game drives around Kwai is not very high, maybe 5 kilometers an hour, so you're not ever driving far from camp, but it can be super rewarding. This place really is a haven for wildlife and today was extra busy as hundreds of whiteback vultures catch the thermals. Whiteback vultures are some of the most common vultures in Africa, but the population is declining rapidly. It really is a pity. These vultures are very susceptible to poisoning. These vultures form a very important part of the food chain, and it's always a privilege to see them in action. You don't encounter scenes like this every day. Cherish them. These memories last forever. So it's just been an absolutely insane morning drive alongside the Kwai from Mohoto. We have gone from the edge of the Moremi Game Reserve into the Chobe National Park. So we've headed east from Mohoto. The scenery and the game viewing has been just absolutely incredible and there's been vultures everywhere. Jono, Yo. how lack is it to cook a lot the night before and have some leftovers for lunch? Yeah, absolutely. It just is a game changer. You don't have to worry about anything. You get onto a game drive with our setup out here. It's quite easy. 
and um, here you can see everything we need quick simple easy putting over some elephant down in the background here under a tree had a great game drive now for some lunch so we've driven along the Kwai River um, for pretty much the whole day and we're taking a road now which goes past the Pankwa waterhole but this road hasn't been driven in a long time because as you can see by the rocking and rolling the road um, has, is full of elephant hills elephant footprints that set in the mud and then dry in the dry season which makes a very uncomfortable ride but it is quite a thick Mopani felt sort of road but that should get us back to the transit road and back to Mohoto where I'm not sure if we're just going to chill this afternoon I've got a bit of work to do but what an awesome day in the Chobe National Park and another awesome day in Botswana very thankful for my pangolin off-road armor kit on this road the magnetic vehicle protection I have on the side is amazing because the car otherwise would be getting scratched to pieces so yeah if you are thinking of um, wanting to protect your vehicle out here it's a very very good option Although the camping fees at Mohoto are a little steep, I find it's worth every cent. Remember, when you stay here, you aren't paying the high park fees, which are also expensive. However, these fees are also worth it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but people that say Botswana is overrated really don't know what they're missing. So uh, these are the bathrooms at Mokoto, if any of you guys are interested. There's quite a bit of water not draining away. So you could probably get by with these ones, but they're not great. I'm not one to complain, but it is quite expensive for what you get. So. If you are able to bring your own shower, bring it and then just use the toilets. But yeah, there are ablutions. We certainly aren't here for amazing ablution blocks. We are here for the wild experiences. So we are on our way back from the ablution block and uh, there's an elephant outside our camp that's not letting us get into our camp how awesome is that it looks like he's shaking the tree to get the acacia pods to fall and then eating them off the ground not sure if that's what's happening but that's what it looks like mohoto magic
we've set up our entire shops here. Sea Gear Ground Sheet Awnings The Works Yes it's overkill, but we aren't wanting for anything out here. It might look like I'm always out in the bush, but that's not the case. When I'm out here, I want to enjoy my time, and that's exactly why I love my off-road trailer. I've never professed that you need all of this to get out here, and you certainly don't. Just get out there with what you have and enjoy. Uh, we're gonna make some pizza tonight. Um, we're cheating a little bit. We're gonna make pizza in a pizza dome and uh, let's see how this works out. We're gonna pop it in here. We're gonna leave the coals around it and hopefully that cooks it so we don't have a burnt base. We're gonna form this part. Mm, what have we got? One pepperoni? Yeah, and one club. And hyena going off in the back. Brilliant. Oh my god. This piece of equipment is kindly sponsored by. Food is an important part of the adventure. If you legends have any killer recipes, leave them in the comments below and Jono and I will try a few on our next adventure. I reckon those are perfect. Yeah, I think we, we've got the recipe here. And I think that putting the coals around it as opposed to at the bottom of it allows the pizza to cook absolutely perfectly. If I could get my headlight to work, I'll be able to show you a little bit better. This guy is being mischievous today. <laughs> right, so it's very early in the morning and uh, we're going to try and head into the Moremi today to Northgate. And we heard some lions right near our campsite here at Mokoto, so we're going to try and find them. It's good to have good torches. I'm using the LED Lenser X21R. I've had it for about 10 years and it's amazing. Shining out looking for eyes. Hopefully they're in the road.
some amazing early morning sightings as we head through the village of Kwai to the Moremi Game Reserve's most northerly point and over this iconic bridge. And it's really worth it to explore both sides of the Kwai so on the Moremi Game Reserve side and on the Mohoto side really take your time experience both sides of the river they are very different so let's head to Domba Hippo Pools oh man this is so exciting I stayed in there for my first time that I was here in Kwai what a beautiful spot still SKM. I think the best campsite overall yeah absolutely I mean you might not get the, the beautiful views but honestly, cleanliness, they look after you, the campsites are hidden away, I think the best. Yeah, uh, each campsite has its special charm. Here you have to pay the high park fees, but the actual campsite fees are very low. Bathrooms are exceptional. Oh, and there are a few on the river, if you're lucky enough to get them. But the wildlife through camp is just, just something else, I tell you. Yeah, so let's find Dombo pools. Hopefully no water crossings like the last time. Only those who have been into the Moremi will know how special it is. Jono and I have always said, one day when we pass on, this is where we want our final destination to be. Just to chill for a little while here at Dombo Hippo Pools, always a worthwhile stop. We tried to get the fish eagle catching fish, but it hasn't had a good hit rate so far. Cheers.
For those of you who are interested in the setup at the back of the 200 series, it's been off air for a little while now. Uh, what have I done differently? Well, it's pretty much similar to what I had before. Although I've got this new fridge light from Gobi X and this one's really nice because not only is it a fridge light and a very good one, but it's also got a little table that slides out. So you can either add the table here or you can pull the whole slide out and have the table here. I mean, it's small, but it's just enough to put a chopping board on with a bit of biltong or cheese, uh, some beers, whatever you need, even a laptop to dump footage. And yeah, the quality of their work is amazing. I've got their um, rear bumper with the two swing arms and the fridge slide and the underbody protection. It really is amazing. Then I've got four of these front runner uh, Wolfpack Pros very nice units the clips are so much better than the standard ammo boxes i keep my arb dual compressor on the side all my wild dog recovery kit is in there i've got the uh, interior roof rack from gone wild outdoors an absolutely awesome unit i keep things like my solar panels my tire repair kit indeflate maps the works up there and this is the real change this is the red arc red vision management system with the manager 30 charger so the same charger as i've got in the 100 series but with the red vision screen and all the compatibility it is really amazing i can turn everything on and off with my phone i can measure the depth of the water tanks i'm not doing that at the moment but you can measure how much water you got in those tanks i've got a temperature gauge inside the fridge and also one near the batteries i've just got one lithium battery here at the moment uh, ideally you want two so you want about 200 amp hours in total but there's just a few plugs on the side here and that's the setup it's pretty simple there's no big draw system i used to have one which was great but it was just so heavy and uh, this works well for me so i'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee here at dombo hippo pools Time to drive back along the Kwai to Mohoto.
the variety of wildlife you will see in Botswana is truly unmatched. We stock up on some wood in the Kwai village. You can find basic necessities at the tuck shop, but don't rely on finding exactly what you need in Kwai. It's bittersweet as we head out on our final drive alongside the Kwai River. We just never want to leave this place. Scenes like this is just why you cannot beat Botswana and Kwai. It is just magnificent. There's a lot of people driving up and down, but anyways, it's just magnificent. Whilst everyone else was driving up and down searching for the lions, Jonna and I remained patient. And on this afternoon, we hit Mohoto and Kwai Gold. It's a real pity that some of the lodge vehicles don't respect the animals or the environment and just ruin the sighting for everyone else that's here for exactly the same reason to enjoy nature at its best. But anyway. The King of Kwai showing off an evening that I will never forget. It just gets better and better.
The sheer number of elephant in Moremi and Chobi is staggering and always a joy to watch. And Mohoto wasn't done with us yet. The final morning almost convincing us to stay another night, but it was time to hook the Metalian and Echo and to start the long drive towards a new Botswana destination for us, Linyanti. So we are entering the Mababi Gate, on the way to Linyanti. Happy days. I wish I should just be able to winch you out, I think. Yeah, we'll hook onto the trailer on those points. So we <laughs> didn't take us long to get stuck. The sand is super bad all of a sudden, so we're just going to winch Jono out.
always good to have good recovery kit wild dog 4x4 it's been battered this kit and i tell you it's brilliant all these soft shackles are obviously a lot the metallion has two amazing recovery points at the back i think every off-road trailer manufacturer should fit these to their trailers I use a bridle to equalize the weight between the two points and a blanket for safety. Hey, brand new run by winch, 13,000 pound. It's gonna get some work. This run by winch is insane. What a quick recovery. This wind is next level. And uh, we're actually on our way to Savuti. We didn't know this. To get to Lignanti from the Mobabi gate, you need to go all the way to Savuti. We now found ourselves in a situation where reaching Lignanti was almost impossible, so we really had to push. Coming up in the final episode. Will we make it to Lignanti or will we have to wild camp on the dangerous and infamous Lignanti cut line? Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Cheers.